here at the Cardano Summit 2024 community event in New York City. And we have another special guest here. We have Omar. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, Omar. So, yeah, what brought you here today? I know you're relatively new to the space. Yeah, just interested in learning more, I guess, about Cardano and getting more information about the crypto space. Yeah. Cool. Um, are you, have you been to any similar events or have you been invested in any crypto in the past? Or yeah, yeah, so, what's your background? Yeah, I'm, uh, I've invested in a few different cryptocurrencies like Solana, ETH, Bitcoin. Um, been to like, a few different conferences. And uh, just, yeah, I don't know too much about Cardano specifically, so that's why I'm not here, yeah. Cool, I can tell you a bit about it. Um, so what appeals to you most about the blockchain in general or cryptocurrency when you're looking into something? Just something that's like new and innovative that hasn't been done before and scalable, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I got into Cardano when I found out from someone that it was super peer-reviewed. And there's a lot of really brilliant minds behind it. There's scientists, there's people who really care about the technology. And I come from a science background. I actually studied climate science. Awesome. So knowing that there's special people to research and make sure that this thing actually works, they have long-term goals, they have a solid team behind them. Um, that's what gives me a lot of assurance that this is a solid project that's in it for the long run. Right. For, yeah, I guess my question for you is when you look at different blockchains, when you're curious about getting into a community, are there any specific use cases or innovations that you're interested in learning about or being into? Um, that's a good question. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't feel like I probably know enough to, to answer that, but uh, just, I guess, like a welcoming community that's, that's open to, I guess, educating people and teaching them about what they're doing would definitely be like a help. Yeah. yeah. In the past, we've had all kinds of different events for these Cardano summits, and sometimes they've been a little bit more in the weeds with like developers just like talking on and on and on about the technology. But I did tell um, Jeff and Moto, who helped um, put together this event with me, that it would be good too just to have like some onboarding stuff too, just to definitely. invite people like yeah. you and people who are brand new. No, this is cool. They're like, what is Cardano? Yeah. Yeah, cool. but yeah, do you have any questions for me or, I know we also have um, other people in the back there who can answer more <laughs> questions if you need to go more in depth on the developer side of things, but yeah, do you have any other curiosities or um, questions for the Cardano community? Yeah, I guess just like a general overview of like why Cardano is, is what's the, like the value add and differentiation between Cardano and some of the other blockchain techs? I think... Originally, when I got into it, I really liked how it was one of the ones that was proof of stake rather than proof of work from the get-go. Mm -hmm. And um, that means that it's a lot more energy efficient. It means that um, rather than verifying it, like, it doesn't like, raise value from just like one person mining for one token or like a bunch of miners competing and using more and more power. Mm -hmm. um, people gain more value by just like parking it in a stake pool with a stake pool operator. Um, it's a more collaborative process, in my opinion, and since I'm into climate, um, I'm really into something that's more energy efficient. Um, other people I know who have been in Cardano for a while also like that there's a strong community. Right. Um, there's other people that you can collaborate with, people are super supportive and want to work with you. And there's also something called um, Project Catalyst. Yeah. It's one of the most decentralized funds in the world, and the community actually votes on which projects get the funding from that from that pool. Okay. And um, yeah, there's all kinds of different things that people submit. They submit a proposal and it's a good way for projects to really catalyze for that. Yeah. Is that what drew you into Cardano initially? It was like the environmental piece I know you said you it was an environmental piece yeah. and just number one, yeah, the community. Okay. There's a lot of really nice solid people there. Yeah. Yeah. I guess are you involved in any other capacity? Besides, I guess, like this channel or mostly? Mostly, it's mostly a channel right okay. now. Um, I'll do these kinds of events and yeah, mostly just like my other stuff is mostly with climate rather than just the blockchain, blockchain stuff. Right. And what is the other stuff? Like, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, do, I do workshops on anxiety and climate change. So people who are worried about, say, the planet, people who are unsure what to do about it. Mm -hmm. um, I started a thing called Climate Cafe, and we do pop-ups throughout the city. Um, we do 
meditations for them, and then we plug them into resources and actions to actually take to fight climate change and make the world a better place. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's my passion project thing, but yeah. not really related to blockchain. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Is that like more of your main focus, or? I spent a lot of time on that. Yeah, yeah. it's purely just like your passion project yeah. here now. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Omar, yeah, for being on the you. show, and yeah, thanks for coming by to the party. Yeah, thanks for having me.